This video will discuss three perspectives on the relationship between organizational culture and performance. These three are strong culture perspective, fit perspective, and adaptive perspective. First, we must define what organizational culture and performance are. According to the American Psychological Association, organizational culture is a distinctive pattern of thought and behavior shared by members of the same organization and reflected in their language, values, attitudes, beliefs, and customs. Performance is either any activity or collection of responses that leads to a result or has an effect on the environment, or it's the behavior of an organism, which is the performer, when faced with a specific task. Now, starting with strong culture perspective, it argues that a strong culture homes in on the values shared between employees of an organization that push it forward. Organizations with strong cultures outperform other organizations in multiple criteria, such as motivation, control without bureaucracy, and goal alignment. Now, basically, in 1992, two Harvard professors named John Cotter and James L. Heskett published a book called Corporate Culture and Performance. In it, they analyzed 207 firms in a wide variety of industries between 1977 and 1988, so an 11-year time span. And they concluded that there is a modest association between strong culture and positive long-term economic performance. The following viewpoint, Fitz perspective, has a different approach. It argues that a culture is good only if it fits the firm's or industry strategy. From this perspective, there are three organizational characteristics that may affect culture. Competitive environment, customers' requirements, and society's ex expectations. Now, this perspective is helpful in explaining short-term performance, but unfortunately not long-term performance. This perspective also fails to explain how firms can adapt to environmental changes. Ending with adaptive perspective, it claims that an adaptive culture encourages confidence and risk-taking, it has leadership that produces change, and it focuses on the customer's changing needs. Now, of course, there are both adaptive and non-adaptive managers. An adaptive manager's core values revolve around the stockholder's customers and employees' needs. The stockholders, the customers, and the employees' needs. And Typically, an adaptive manager pays close attention to all their constituencies, especially customers. A non-adaptive manager cares about themselves, their work group, or a project that they're a part of. And they behave somewhat narrow-mindedly, politically, and bureaucratically. I hope this made sense. Have a great day.